previously on Alan Wake. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now. Rated T for teen. Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. My nose is very irritating right now. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Episode 2. Taken. <laughs> Three years ago, New York. Pretty panoramic, black and white and red. This is a pretty nice apartment. <laughs> All right, this is about as close as I'm gonna get to actually making coffee. Coffee's on. So hopefully I do it right. Wow, nice digs. CCTV. <laughs> <clears throat> that is a wild storm. Beautiful balcony. This is a great apartment. Very big space. Where are you at? Oh, hey. I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Look at those shadows. Woo! Okay. So, what are we doing? These, these look really good. The sudden stop. Until Barry gets his hands on them, which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. The fall of Casey. The things that I want. Alex Casey. What I can't forget, return to sender. Please check the fuse box. I'm, I'm right here. I'm, I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Hurry. Oh no. Ah. Thank you, video games, for helping me. Honey, honey it's, a it's a power outage. outage. I've, got I've got the flashlight. flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just. It just, it just really, really spooked me. Don't, Don't worry. We'll just, we'll just break, break out the candles. candles. Look at those shadows. Look at those shadows. I know, Woo! It's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared. You know? It gets to me. Ready T for teen. I love you. <laughs> Tell me a story, writer. Okay. okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. Detective Pikachu. The clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and the magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. There it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, right? It just happens to have the clicker. Out, you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Amazing lip animation. Ooh. It's a really nice balcony. Whew. All right. Mm -hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. 
if the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Oh, look, it's Log Lady. Thank you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. I'll be sure to take care of it, Ms. Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. I'll come back later on to remind you. Is she, like, outside? Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Oh. Ah, okay. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd locked me up. Excuse me, I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called the Lover's Peak. Don't do nothing, stupid pal. We're watching you. Uh-oh. Wait, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Hey, mister! Hey, eternal light! The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go to the... Oh, is that a new? Another missing manuscript. It's human mask. To describe the dark presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Dun dun dun! behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Come on. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here. Here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Al, what the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. 
Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I, but I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey, oh my! Take it easy. Nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges. Mr. Wake, my offer still stands. What a creepy bloke. Get out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. Oh, Barry. What a, what a great guy. To someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Oh, gosh. Barry, you found him. I rose. Wow, I was just thinking about you, too. <gasps> Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? Are you high? Have you been drinking? No. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. And everything's just... Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. It'd be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny Wait bar. here. <laughs> Wait here, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You run cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake, I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Mine are kind of full here on the table. from the desk. It's just across from Bug Tooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to be okay. Foreshadowing. Uh oh. Al, you can't just go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing. We're here. Listen, you hit your head. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? I guess not. Freak me out? It's working. Ha <laughs> ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. Look. <laughs> That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should, we should go, go to the sheriff, sheriff or call the FBI. FBI. Damn it, Barry, the killer. This is not a debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. 
Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Just, just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Sounds good, Barry. <laughs> I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. You're losing it. And that's gonna flicker out right when I get there. Yep. on that page I, I found it came true it knew so dark it'll come back for me you must the lights in the office i have the key okay rusty hang on i'll be right back Oof, he's in bad shape whatever did this couldn't be far rusty had found a page from the manuscript it would help me understand what had happened The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Mind if I do? Ah! Too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Rusty! Rusty! The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. Oh boy. 
something had torn a mammoth sized hole in the wall. Please don't feed the animals. Fishing is only permitted for those visitors. Bridges of park. Fishing. License. No way. Oh, man. How about you come out here where I can see you, buddy? Ugh. All the hair standing up on my neck. Sorry, Rusty.